Hello and welcome back to Father of Two Plays Boulder's Gate Blind. Last time we rescued Duke Elton and we read Sarabok's journal. We had a little fighting in the uh, Flaming Fist compound as well. So, I forgot to save between episodes, I believe, so I'll save right now. And we'll continue on. So I was going to head to some shops to identify some of the things we have on our person. Hopefully we don't run into any Iron Throne on the way, because they'll want to kill us. Most likely. Who are you? Hello there. Tamako. I apologize for not being more open, but these are troubled times. If I could be permitted to speak for a moment, I believe I have something you would want to hear. Perhaps we could help each other. I would know to whom I am speaking. I do not take candy from strangers, as it were. You may call me Tomoko. I do. Is, I think it's a woman. I do not pr presume to be your friend or even someone you should trust. But fate demands that I place myself at your disposal. I have details worth listening to. And again, I must ask if you are interested in a trade of sorts. Do you wish to hear what I have to tell? Say what you must and I will listen. I shall explain myself in further detail when I have time. Until then, I have but one thing to say to you. The one who claims to heal Duke Elton's sickness is also the one who breeds it. Likely there have been signs that suggest this to you. Yeah, like when he turned into a changeling. Uh, but none have said it so plain. No doubt you have the wherewithal to follow through on it. Your very nature gives you above average competence. Garion's tutelage could only have enhanced this. Your simple shadowing is giving you, has given you that name, and I'm not impressed. I have cut those familial ties. No, I'm not going to say that. Ah, uh, don't speak... Th these both are kind of not something I want to say, but okay. Don't speak that name. I'll not have you sully the memory of, our own, of the only family I have known. But that was not the family that, you knew, that knew you and who... and knows you now. I think you feel the pull, and I think you strain against it still. Ah, again, you see that I know much of you, perhaps more than you know yourself. There are three things that are strength incarnate. There is love of life, there is fear of death, and there is family. A family that loves death would have a strong pull indeed. Can you feel it? Can you feel him? He hates you, you know. Ah, uh, who hates me? What have I done to deserve such hatred? Sarabok, I assume. What have you done? You exist, and chaos will be sown. That is the way it was intended, though I hope to change it. I must go, and you must go to Duke Elton. Protect him from his own healer. I will wait for you near the Flaming Fist headquarters. We shall speak again, and I shall have something to ask of you. Uh, okay, but we already went there, but fair enough. And another guy. Delthier. Wait! I must speak with you. It's of utmost importance. Will you wait and listen? What is it you want? Good, then. I'm Delthier. I represent those who harp. I have been seeking... Okay, is it like play harp? Or, I don't know. Maybe harping is a profession I don't understand. I've been seeking you out for many weeks now. Just recently I discovered that you l had left the city some time ago. Things have changed since you were gone. I can tell you everything you need to know. <laughs> I'm going to read this one just because it's funny. No, we like to operate with no knowledge of the world around us. <laughs> um, that would be most welcome. The second in command of the Flaming Fist, Scar, was assassinated. Grand Duke Elton has come down with some mysterious ailment. No one knows how long he has to live. The most important news for your concerns are your recent return to Candlekeep. You've been accused of murdering the leader of the Iron Throne, leaders of the Iron Throne. Everyone believes that you are agents of Alm. They think your persecution of the Iron Throne was just a cover-up for Alm. Tensions run pretty high right now. The new Iron Throne president, Saravok, has placed a price on all your heads. The Flaming Fist has a warrant for your arrest. Before I continue, tell me, are you guilty? Uh, no, we were framed. I am relieved. Now we must speak of your future. 
From what our network has gathered, the Iron Throne is preparing to make a grab for power in Boulder's Gate. It would be in your best interest to investigate what they are up to. Perhaps if you could break into their citadel, you might learn something. I know these are troubled times for you, but you know more about the Iron Throne than anyone else. If you have any questions for me, ask them now. I'll be gone for the next few days. Uh, we don't have any questions right now. We already know all that stuff. Thanks, Mr. Harper. You going in the store, too? Okay. Uh, okay, Halbazer Drin. Let's see what you can do for me. Identify. It's just a plus one. And that's just a plus one. Fair enough. Uh, what's this? The Shadow's Blade plus three. Well, that sounds bad arse. Uh, let's read about it. The Sword of Backstabbing, the Shadow's Blade. The Shadow's Blade was created to be the perfect assassin's tool, it is highly sought after by any who settle differences with a blade, and many that possess it do not do so for long. Sounds cool. I don't know why the, there's why one of those. <laughs> Spend a hundred gold. It doesn't really matter. We're getting near the end. Longtooth, the Grave Binder. Discovered relatively recently by adventurers in the South, the ability of this weapon, or abilities of this weapon went unknown for several years. Magical tomes eventually revealed its extensive history as an assassin's tool. It was dubbed the Grave Binder. It was stolen soon after. Uh, sling? Plus one? Okay, anything else to identify? Doesn't look like it. Some robes. Some more robes. A wand. Wand of polymorphing. Let's take a look at that. Polymorph target into a squirrel. Save versus wand negates. Uh, duration permanent until dispelled. Okay, that's pretty cool, actually. Um, all right, let's sell the stuff we don't need. So, stuff we don't need. These, that. Um, why not? I guess I could give them to somebody. Doesn't matter that much to me right now. Okay, bloodstone ring. Master Thievery Potion, hello. Oh, okay, so there's stacks of ten of these. Okay. Um, so I think we'll keep the Shadow's Blade plus three and get rid of Longtooth. Oh, well, let's keep it. I can't remember if she can dual wield or not. So we'll, we'll see if she can dual wield before we get rid of it. Um, hmm. Studded necklace with Zeos gems, bloodstone ring, angel skin ring. So where was that guy who wanted that? I just can't remember. I thought he was at the uh, Iron Throne headquarters. Maybe he is, and we just can't talk to him because of what's going on. Okay. Now... Let's see. Where to now? What, uh, oh, these could probably go... Well, I guess I want this. And this could probably go to her. We might want to stay in an inn. Stack those up. Um... Let's fill up her arrows. While we can. And... We were looking for... At least us passport. Uh. Okay, right. It's fire resistance. That is pretty good. Um, can anyone wear it? She has no rings, so let's give that to her. And we wanted to see if she was able to do two weapon fighting. So skills. And abilities. 
Reaction adjustment, missile adjustment. Uh, where do I see? She does have a backstab multiplier. Okay. Two weapon style. Okay, so we could give her... Let's do that. We could give her both of these weapons. This does a little more damage. If we had even more gold, it would probably do even more damage. Now, what's this one? The Whistling Sword. Do we want that one, or do we want the Grave Binder? Let's see. So, that goes better with the short one. Um, three to eight. Same damage. So, what about if we take that off? Brings the Thacko up. Okay, we're gonna go with that, but she's probably just gonna use her bow anyway. And anything else? Okay, I guess we'll go meet that... I mean, let's go stay in the inn, but then we'll go meet that woman. Um... That's not where I want to go. Uh, we'll go meet that woman by the... Why can't I remember what it's called? The Flaming Fist Headquarters. Even though we already broke in and, and saved Duke Elton. You are not the law. Uh, we're kind of in the middle of something, Sam. Hey, guys, you remember me, your old buddy, Sam? <gasps> it's so good to see you all. Lots has happened since you were gone. <laughs> I've been here all sorts of things. I hear you guys aren't wanted for murder. <laughs> so you're murderers, eh? Well, I still like it. Hey, I have some more info for you. Do you want to hear it? Um... Okay, what do you want have for us? Well, uh, quite a bit I have, quite a bit. Does you know about Duke Alton? He's disease, he is. His second in command, uh, uh, Scar, got killed. Assassinated, he was. Burp. So that's it. I got to get going now. If you want to talk with me some more, just come to the Blushing Mermaid. See us. Oh, God. <laughs> Did that really just happen? Shoot. You, no. Use those. What just happened? Oh, <laughs> you want no part of it. You did that, Imuin. You did that. Not me. I guess you, I did it to a degree, because I didn't tell you not to use those, but derp. Derp, darn it. That's not my fault. Sorry, guys. Okay, so they don't like... Uh, come on, guys. Like, they're attacking me, though. I guess I should have just stuck with what I was doing and not... Um... Not attack them. So I guess we won't go that way. <laughs> um... Well, this is getting a little frustrating with everyone after us in town. Okay, let's go to the El Song Tavern. And we can stay the night here, right? Uh, let's stay one more period so we get to full life without using any of our skills or spells. Okay. 
So we will just be running from any guards that try and attack us. That guy talk to us? No. They were just talking. Hello there! They were just talking. So, to the Flaming Fist compound then. And then back to the sewer, I guess. I guess they didn't like when we assaulted the Flaming Fist either, our, our friends there. Desperate times call for desperate measures. I know they're the law, but they're also... I guess the soldiers themselves aren't corrupt. I see you have sought me out as I thought you would. I have things that must be said, things that are important to us both. I have but one condition to my discourse, and you must agree before I speak. A promise I seek, and I will accept no less. Ah, you have my word that I shall honor my promise as best I can. I thank you. Here is my request, though it may seem quite odd. I charge you to defeat Saravok, the man behind all your woes. You must destroy his plans and stop his schemes in its tracks. You must strip him of the belief that he can succeed in this path that he follows. You must do this for me, and you must le also leave him his life. I will. I will help him to live his life as a man, not as the god he thinks he can be. I do not see how such a thing is possible. He sought to destroy me, and I have only responded in kind. Saravok seeks to destroy everyone, not just you. You are of particular interest because of your shared origins with him. You are a possible rival, one of the few that are worthy of his personal attention. Above all else, you are family. I see this as startling news, though likely you have suspected as much. Does this disturb you? It should not. Monsters are often closer to us than we like to think. You are siblings, and the path open to him, paths open to him are yours as well, though he has been racing down his from his earliest days. You had Garion to guide you, did you not? Saravok had no one. He draws his strength from hatred, from the thought of rising above those he knew to be inferior. His divine blood hungers for conquest, and that is why he must be defeated, but not killed. He serves another, but does not know it. Divine blood, he serves another, of what do you speak? The child becomes the father, or desperately wishes so. The blood pulls, calls, and demands. The wise Owando did say unto the ages that the lord of murder would perish, and his doom would spawn his mortal progeny. Chaos would be sown in their passage. But to what purpose? Have you felt the hunger and heard the offerings of power? Saravox thinks they are true, and so he speaks as seeks a senseless war and slaughter of a scale so grand as to defy description. He thinks it w will launch him to... to what? Possibly he is right, but he can... I cannot lose him to this. Why do you oppose him when you so clearly care for his life? Saravok is... I share Saravok's company, and I would do so until I die, given the choice. That is all you need to know. I would save the man within the beast he wishes to be. I do not believe he will survive his plan. It is all based on conjecture at best. He feels that he has been chosen, and that he will become more than he is. I do not share his belief. Gods are not known for bequeathing their powers, especially if they have foreseen their deaths. Whatever he is, I would keep him here, grounded firmly among those of us that are all flesh. I shall strive to stop him, and I will do what I can to see that he lives. I, I thank you. Saravok can be redeemed, as, as could you should... As could you should one day... Oh, okay. As could you... There should be, like, another comma there, maybe? As could you, should you one day pursue the same path. For now, I shall speak of secrets to aid you. Duke Elton may be saved, but Duke Entar Silvershield has been killed outright. The murders have acted... Murderers have acted with anonymity. But I know who and where they are. You must go to the Undercellar, return if you have already been. There you will find Slythe and Kristen, two unsavory beings that revel in the violence Sarabok allows them to commit. There are no more, they are no more than animals in human guise, even by the standards of the company they keep. 
Kill them, and you shall know much of the plan. If you do not know where the underseller is located, then go to the sewers. You'll find an entrance there. I thank you for your help. I will seek them out. There is another. Atop the Iron Throne base is a woman whose, whose influence is a poison in Sarabok's soul. If she were removed, I know he would listen to reason, to my pleading... Sithandria is her name, and she holds much power in this matter. She seeks Sarabok's favor as well, though she is content if he self-destructs. So long as she profits in the deed, I, I must go. I cannot know, or he cannot know I have helped you. Huh, okay. Interesting. So there's even more going on than I understand. I thought I'd pretty much figured everything out at this point. So we're going to go try and find the sewers close to the temple or the the ducal palace. Better way to put that. Uh, where's Rasad? Rasad. There he is. Um, and see if we can't find that secret entrance. So we're looking to kill Sathandria. I guess if that woman could be trusted. Which maybe she can't. Okay, there's the sewers. Let's go in there. And the palace is kind of like over here, right? So let's see if we can't find a way in. This way. That's a way up. That wouldn't be to the palace, would it? Let's take a quick look. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Nope. Dawn and dawn. Oh, actually, let's go... Well, of course. <laughs> yeah. Look at our map from here, though. So it's to the east, though. Dawn and dawn. Um, hmm. Is it over here, maybe? Well, let's search around. There should be some assassins waiting. If I'm not mistaken. Right, I remember running into these guys. Should we try this one? You must gather your party before venturing forth. Okay, this is down by the harbor. So it would follow that it's north and east from there. That we want to go. Maybe over here? Perhaps. Sewer cleaner. A simple task. Mm. Hmm. Where are we going to find this entrance? Um... Let's take a quick look above the surface, or above ground here. Okay, so we are quite far south now. Of course. <laughs> yeah. This way, maybe? You must gather your party before venturing forth. Okay, course, we're at the undercellar. Right, so this is how we came in before. Right, we read those notes already. Oh, they're not notes. Yeah, there is notes. Let's take them anyway. Um. <laughs> Want to take a look at me, Diddy? No, I'm. I'm. You've also ruined Donkey Kong for me now, lady. Okay. Um, hmm. Where is this entrance from the sewers? Of course. <laughs> yeah. Let's keep taking a look around, I suppose. Otherwise, I guess we might have to, like, crash the front gates, but I don't really want to. If I can help it. Mm, I suppose we could try this way. 
see where it goes. I thought there was supposed to be a bunch of, like, change lanes waiting, uh, to, I assume change lanes, waiting to do the assassination deed. You must gather your party before venturing forth. A simple task. Maybe, uh, resting made me too late? Um... Okay, let's go to the surface and kind of get a look at where we are. Okay, so we're too far west now. Dude, just... no. We don't want to fight you. Go away. Okay, let's quick save, take a quick look up here. You must gather your party I know I must forth. gather my party before venturing forth. I'm trying to. Um, your wish. Okay, so we're too far south now. So it's got to be like up here or something, right? I just don't know. I just don't know. Can we talk to this guy? What do you got to say? Hello, pal. Uh, I think we talked to you already. Um, man, you had nothing useful to say. You must gather your party before venturing so we'll try this one and then that one and see. Gather your party before venturing I know. Okay, now we're too far south? Yeah, we are just... To be fair, we are just south of where we want to go. Of course. <laughs> yeah. So where's this of one course. go, then? <laughs> yeah. you must gather your party before venturing forth. How is that possible? <laughs> that doesn't seem right at all. Okay. Um... Because the other one, like, brought us up, like, over there somewhere. That doesn't seem right. Okay. It's very confusing to my brain. Why can't we find this place? That goes up? Where does it go up to? Okay, that's the one we came down, correct? Okay. So what if we go up this one? You must gather your party before venturing forth. Now we're way... that seems like a long distance. So, slightly south and west should be the entrance, the secret entrance? Like here, but that's not gonna be it, that's too far. I think we tried this one already, too. Oh, there's my timer. Well, we'll take a peek and then... Oh, blob. My blade will cut you down to size. Oh. Uh, I want you to switch back to your fist, my friend. Are you seriously? You're a queer really? Pro. There we go. Okay. And now we're over here. So maybe there's not a secret entrance. Maybe I'm wrong. Simple task. I thought there w that they said a there was. Task. Well, until next time, if you enjoyed it, please leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. This is Father of Two, signing off.